Now, as we've been uh, telling you, uh, people are trying to get on with their daily lives despite these uh, missile attacks, uh, despite knowing that this is a country at war. Certainly here in the capital, Kiev, people are trying to get about their daily lives. The cafes are full. The restaurants are heaving. Even now, uh, even though there is a curfew uh, at midnight, people are out and about on this summer's day. Earlier, I went uh, down to the metro here in Kiev, which is also used as a bunker for safety uh, when, when there are the air raids warning people about Russian uh, missile attacks. Just uh, have a, a listen to what I found. I'm just going to uh, sort of show you around uh, here in the metro because, of course, these metros have been incredibly significant during this war. Uh, for starters, at the beginning of the conflict, uh, we've just come up on, uh, onto an escalator, actually, which will give you a better sense. You can probably see um, uh, how deep we are underground. These metros get used as bunkers, as you say, when the airstrikes um, start to ha happen and then the air raid sirens, many people take shelter and then the metro stops operating. So it's sort of used for double purposes. But I was just saying at the beginning of the conflict, this metro was not operational and many people had brought their, their mattresses, duvets, pillows into this metro and, and apparently the whole space on the platform uh, was being used for people to sleep uh, because they weren't sure what was going on overhead uh, with uh, Russian airstrikes and, and the tanks that were the column of tanks you'll remember making its way into Kiev that had petrified uh, the local communities here. So many people had brought pets, their children, families, really spending a lot of time underground here. and. You see the hallmarks of this conflict deep in this metro as well. If we could just pan over, you can probably see some of these uh, posters uh, where they're talking about, you know, the work of the military, trying to keep the community safe. Uh, there's images of teachers uh, working and the whole idea and concept of this is that the rest of the community wouldn't be able to operate if it wasn't uh, up to, if it didn't come down to the military uh, supporting them in this conflict. So. All over this city, there's a constant reminder uh, of, of this uh, war, even though, as you can see, people here are trying to get on with their daily lives. They say, look, we know what's going on, but we're not going to allow it to impact us. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News.